But uh, <clears throat> the same thing I've been sorry I've been telling through months at a time. I'm watching uh RoboCop <laughs> and uh RoboCop one, the one originally from the eighties that they filmed in Detroit, and uh, I think it's got the girl in it from uh Savage Streets. Her name Linda Blair. Cute little face of her. She's older now. She's still got those little that little baby face. But uh. I was watching a scene in RoboCop, and it was the part where RoboCop <clears throat> got his arms blown off before. Well, before he became RoboCop, I should say, is the part before that all happened. And you know, RoboCop's a cyborg, and I know it's kind of going off subject. Was going to make a lot of sense when I'm done telling the story here. It was, <clears throat> it was a part in the movie where the guy became RoboCop. They put his arms on and the metal and everything. And he walked into the the room, and I guess he got a flashback of his, his wife and his son. And it kind of showed me a little slice of life, because it's like, wait a minute, all these people are calling me evil, and all these girls are talking shit about my religion, and, and they can't talk themselves. They got tattoos all over the place, and, you know, fucking crazy piercings, and the contact lenses to make their eyes look all demonic and whatnot. I'm like, wait, they're talking shit about me, you know? But I saw a little slice of life when I was watching that movie. <clears throat> and the part where Robocop was having a flashback of his family. Now, a cop, <laughs> a policeman, policewoman, whatever you want to call him, protect and serve, right? A cop is using the left-hand path. You're telling me if you're, you're a cop, all right, you're out on duty, all of a sudden, you come home, you're having a nice day at work, you're shooting the ship with the guys and the rest of the crew, you're arresting the bad guys and pulling people over for, you know, drinking or whatever it may be. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> you go home and your whole family, you know, is, is killed just for no reason. That instant flick of the moment, that cop goes home like, oh, man, my beautiful, you know, wife, she's got gunned down or whatever. My son got killed, whatever. That cop right there knows from human instincts, like I, from there, he wants to get fucking vengeance. Someone just took your beautiful wife and killed your beautiful children. What are you going to do? You're going to go out, you're going to find a cat, you're going to find the goddamn criminal that done this shit. You're going to beat his, kick his fucking ass in, right? Right there. That cop knows that it's time to get vengeance. So I'm not saying people are killing me, but what I'm saying is you have to defend yourself. And that movie, when I was watching, I know it has nothing to do with, you know, the left hand path or Anton LaVey or Nicholas Shrek, you know, or none of that. No, it has nothing to do with that. But it, I learned that you're using the left hand path every fucking day. Every day you're using the left hand path. So when people sit up there and they say all this bad negative shit about what my post are on facebook and all my videos on youtube they're all evil because you guys are not paying attention the left hand path is is practicing all type of ways i'm not the only one that practices the stuff i practice there's a billion people on planet earth probably more than a billion to be honest with you at a hard point that practice the stuff i do from every endeavor just like mr shrek said on this youtube interview you can you can be a, a puppeteer and automatically get accused of doing something dark because within that same category it's all entertainment puppets were used for witchcraft years ago think about that and anybody that has some artistic mind going the bottom they are considered to be a witch you can draw if you know how to draw that's part of the left hand path too if you're doing puppet shows or you're juggling you work in a circus that's all entertainment and it's all the same cycle so i'm learning that anything you do <laughs> you know a lot of people don't know they're even practicing magic and they are you can be practicing magic right now you don't even know you are you're practicing some type of religion believe it or not and every day you're using the left hand logic every day you're not going to go through this world i'm sorry you're not going to go through this big old white world without defending yourself. It makes no sense. So, and that's naked in the rain. When you guys 
tell all this shit about each other. You, you put all this shit on Facebook and oh, hold this bitch that slept with my man. You, you stupid hoe. And, and you go outside and all of a sudden the rain washes all this shit off the makeup and all that stuff, the belts and the, the everything else. It all comes off because it reveals what we really are. Are you a monster underneath all that? Like these people been rumoring you about, or are you really a sweet, kind person? They're just talking shit on you because they have idle minds. I'm not a Christian anymore, but I remember a saying that my mom would always say, she still says it to this day. An idle mind is the devil's workshop or idle mind is a, the way to the devil's playground. What they mean by that is when your mind is constantly running and worried about what every fucking body else is doing, you have an idle mind. Okay, how can I fucking piss Donovan off today? Uh-oh, he put another fucking evil post up. Uh-oh, there goes another Anton LaVey fucking picture up there. Uh-oh, there goes another Ronnie James Dio album up there throwing the horns up. Or when HP loves crash fucking evil monsters, you know. And I'll put like a, you know, a little picture of myself up there. I'm licking my tongue out or throwing up the devil horns. They'll automatically think it's directed towards them when it's not. If you guys were around when 2011 came, 2011 was the most horrible year for me because at the place I love, people started fights with me. And that's when it all started. And what I don't get is you fucking motherfuckers, you know what I'm about. And you choose to piss me off. I think you try to piss me off because you guys enjoy, you enjoy me casting spells, you enjoy me getting vengeance. That's not nothing good. You shouldn't have to push people to the limit where they'll have to hurt you. That's stupid. I'm sorry. If I knew someone was a witch and they was practicing that shit, I wouldn't fucking want to piss them off. I'm like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to try to make friends with them and reason with them. But you people don't want to reason with me. And you're stupid. You're dumb. You're dumb as fuck. You're stupid. You need to educate yourself. That's what you need to do. I'm a kind-hearted person. Okay? Just because I wear all this shit, you know, because I wear all this stuff, all right. This is my religion. That's what it is. That's all. This is my religion. This is what I practice. The bone, you know, all that stuff I practice. Shit like this, you know, the the, the Wagner doll. I showed you guys this several times. I lost a feather. Stuff like that. This, this is my religion. And when you guys say shit to me like, oh, I'm a fake witch, motherfucker, if I'm not mistaken, you were the last, you're the first one, bitch, that you were telling me to. Always, oh, Donovan, do a spell on me. My relationship's going bad. Oh, Donovan, do a spell on me. My girlfriend's cheating on me. So remember that. So this fake fucking witch, who did you run to when you had problems? Just think about that. You know, print your pictures out and Xeroxing them and send them to me. And, oh, make this bitch suffer. Then you find out that I had an enemy and I was having a problem with someone. And you found out that I said I was going to get them. And it caught up with them. And the glimpse of a moment they'll be walking up steps or something they oh shit my ankle twisted just out of the clear blue it's like oh shit damn diving really is powerful now all of a sudden you you scan yourself away and you don't want me to do it so you guys are naked in the rain because the rain already washed off what i've got and it's when it is no need to wash no more because underneath all this the makeup and the, the diamonds and the jewelry and the whatever else i'm a good person so you guys are wondering where I am. Well, you figured out. I felt a better bit, of, better bit of conscience where I was not allowed. So I haven't been there. I haven't been around. But I'm I'm everywhere, though. I'm everywhere. When I'm not there, I'm, I'm, I'm walking through walls. I didn't say walking on water. I didn't say I was Jesus Christ. Yeah, Randy O'Leary. I also say I wasn't the devil, but I'm not Jesus Christ either. Why would I want to be somebody so primitive and evil? I'm not the devil. I didn't say I was. I didn't say I was trying to be the devil. I'm a human being. I'm my own God. What's It's about here now. I believe in vengeance. He who turns the other cheek is a cowardly dog. Let's put it at that. But I haven't been around because I was told, okay, I couldn't stay long term. So I was like, okay, fuck it. I'm not going to waste fucking $4 to buy a bus ticket. To go stay somewhere for a fucking day. Oh, cool. There's another fucking two fucking four or five dollars down the drain. Now what do I do? I walk around in some town that I fucking, I know, but I'm not going to fucking get myself killed and sleep at another graveyard. Fuck that. So that's why I haven't been around.
Y'all wondering, where was Donovan at? Where's, where's